Well, the Australia vs India test series is officially over, so we are going to do a tier list of the Fox News cricket team. You know, obviously S tier mean the good commentators, good viewing makes it you know easier to watch the game when you're watching on TV. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Of course, these are my opinions. Your, you know, how you rate the commentators could be could be different, but that's just that's just what we're doing today. So, here, I, I'm hoping I got all the commentators. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Um, but, yeah. Uh, well done to India as well. Side note, uh, they outplayed Australia in every single way. Uh, so, yeah, just props to them. Um, not much y'all can say about that. Uh, so, we'll start. We'll go. Ooh, how do we want to do this? We'll start. We'll start with... We'll go, we'll go bottom to top. How's that? Alright, so the first one I'm instantly putting there is Shane Warne. Shane Warne makes the game unbearable to watch. Yes, he might be the king of Spain. Sp Spain? Spin. But watching the game when he commentates makes it very difficult. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to explain. He, he rambles on just too much let's let me just put it like that it's just not good viewing uh, and anyone else indeed not really um, but okay yep that's mainly D one I could change my mind later on but anyway let's go on to C uh, who would I put in C um, let's go with carrier Keith in my opinion it's just I think he's kind of put there for comedic relief. Like, I don't know, there's just something about him. I really need to sneeze, but I'm not going to let that... I'm not going to let that distract me from what we're achieving here today. But yeah, Kerry O'Keefe, um, just, I just, I think his, his style, whatever, he's just a lot of jokes. Yeah, you can have fun or whatnot, but I think just... The joking kind of gets me type of thing. Uh, so that's who I got there. Next one I'll put there is Harsha Bogler. I, th I think, like, yeah, naturally we're going to have pretty much an all Aussie uh, commentating thing. So you would say that they would be biased, but I feel as though they were less biased towards the Australians and what Harsha was for the Indian. Harsha was... It's made annoying. He felt like he was... Not making excuses, but... Trying to... Oh, how do I word this? Just trying to push everything India, India, India. Um, you, you have commentators, you know, that... Are, you know, they could be from the host country. They're just very straight down, straight down line. Um... Like, I have nothing against him. It's just that he's just... I don't know. It's just that bias kind of gets me. I don't like bias. It's kind of like, feel good... Actually, that's who you feel... Shane Warne is a feel good of the cricket. If you don't know who feel good is, is good. Feel good, good, good. Good that you don't know him, because you don't want to know him. That's who Shane Warne is. Um... Yeah, so Kerry Keith Harsha, that's who I have there. Um, do I have any more? Not really. Now uh, we'll go to B, I guess. Yeah, now I'm comfortable with that. Let's go with Mark Wall. Not too bad. Definitely not the worst. Definitely not the best, but he is he is pretty decent. Um, his, his knowledge is very good. I, I know some people trash talk him a lot, but mainly, may, uh, mainly, said mainly, maybe at the same time. Let's not do that. Mainly, it could be because of his BBL commentating, who knows. Uh, but I think, I, I don't think he's a bad commentator. That's all I gotta say. Uh, next one, AB, Alan Border. Did I. 
he probably didn't do too much commentating. Uh, I think his his knowledge, he's 100 years old, so his knowledge is very, I would say, vital uh, to the game, especially when watching. Um, so, he, again, not a bad commentator. Um, yeah, I didn't really hear much of him to kind of give a full, you know, opinion. Not that, you know, he kind of didn't really speak much. In, uh, that's what I thought, anyway. Uh, Brendan Julian. Love his deep voice. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm saying that Harsh has got a wealth of knowledge, too. Well, they all do, but I think... Anyway. Um, Brendan Julian, kind of... He's more of a host type, type commentator. But I think he's very, uh, well, not very, but a hit, a bit hit and miss um, with hosting. So that's that's where I'd, I'd put him. Uh, let's go to A. That's all I have. A. Ishigua. Um, I think she's a good good host when she when she commentates. Uh, yeah, like coming from. For her, it's like coming from a male-dominated sport, more or less. She holds up her and she's, you know, her knowledge of the game is very good. Um, I rarely hear her say, like, something bad, uh, which is good. Um, so, yeah, I Isha is up there. Up there. Next one I'll put is Brett Lee. Uh, Bradley is kind of a surprising one for I think probably a lot of people, even though he's done movies and whatnot. Um, good, good host. I haven't seen. Well, I've seen him host, but not host a lot. Uh, the well, I shouldn't say host. I should say lead the commentary team at the time. Uh, but I think he's done a good job uh, for not doing that much commentating. I would say he's probably done a lot of IPL uh, commentating, so he's not bad. Um, alright, I think that's it, and, well, let's go to our S tier. Gilchrist, I think he's, actually, let's put two up there straight away. Adam Gilchrist and Mark Howard, these two are the benchmark for commentating, I would say, in my opinion. Um, breath of fresh air, uh, knowledge, okay. Did Mark Howard play? I don't recall. I don't think he re I recall him playing. Um, but if he did play, then you know, then he deserves to be up top. Um, but those two are definitely the. I would put the number two guys that you would definitely want in your commentary team. Um, whether it's you know they're split up with other people or you know together just. Just smart people. Um, and my last one I'll put, Mike Hussey, who is also, actually, these two. Mike Hussey, Adam Gilchrist, are two very surprising picks for me to put as, you know, very good commentators. You could argue that Mike Hussey could be an A, um, but for me, I'd say he's probably more of an S tier. Uh, just... It's kind of hard to describe the way they commentate. It's just makes just you feel like you could listen to them all day. That's just how I feel. Uh, it's probably all all five of these. I could listen to them all day. Um, but yeah, that's that's who I put as my tier ranking for my commentary team. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would have a different but i think most of us would agree that shane warne deserves to be on the bottom Feel uninvited, left home in west LA.